And now, WCI3 Sports with Bryce Beamant. High school boys state wrestling prelims are happening at the State Farm Center. And 1A St. Joseph Ogden's Holden Brazelton beats Reed Cust's Sam Begler to move on to the quarterfinals. And Oakwood Salt Fork had back-to-back -back victories on the same mat at 145. Reef Packin moves on after defeating Augie Christensen of Princeton. Packett stays after to watch his teammate at 152. Bryson Kapaski took down Cole City's Landon Benson 8-7 in three. Over on Matt 6, Hoopston area's Angel Zamora at 160 pins Cole City's jo Jack Pointer. Zamora moves on to the quarterfinals. And at 170, Unity's Caius Root gets the dub over Seneca's Colin Wright. And over a mat over Rockets, Nick Nosler ends the match early, beating Clifton's Joseph Maxwell. He'll face against Taylorville's William Blue and the quarterfinals. Blue went into triple overtime to get the win over Genoa's Julian Torres. It's a good start for sure. Last two years, had state champ first round, dropped it both times. I'm glad to get a win first round this year. I just got to keep treating it like any other match. Just go out there, wrestle my match, and uh, I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but got a lot more work to do for sure. Not the biggest kid, but I mean, my technique's there. That's all that matters. I want to work on a bigger kid and get the dub. And in two-way state wrestling, Glenwood's Drew Davis at 113, a former state champion, ends the match early against St. Patrick's Calvin Stahl with a 17-2 win. And in 126, Mattoon's Corbin Bateman gets the dub, moving on to quarterfinals, beating Crystal Lake's Greco Rendon. The goal is always to come back here and, you know, win state, but I, I just got to get it done for the next couple of days. It's huge just going out there and picking up that first win. It just starts the momentum for the whole day. We'll have all the results on our website, WCIA.com.